Have any of you ever seen a dead body that's been in the sun for three weeks? No. no. Right, take a look at this then. There you go. With early aughts vibes and candy-colored splat stick, Polar has IMDb fans all hot and bothered. On this IMD Brief, we break down the trending movie's cast, crew, and origins in all of its gory comic book glory. Netflix let Polar take hard R to the next level with a seriously pulpy story about an assassin retiring to a small, quiet Montana town and the hired killers who will stop at nothing to see that he doesn't get his pension. Based on a long-running webcomic by Victor Santos, the story saw new life when it was released as a graphic novel in November 2013. Spare me the lecture. Fine, I won't tell you about Polar's kick-ass cast of killers, like Catherine Winnick from History's Vikings. Vanessa Hudgens, who also starred in Rent, not so live on Fox the same weekend as Polar's release. And Ruby O. Fee, who shot straight to the top of IMDb Pro's Star Meter chart. What's your name again, baby? I'm still Cindy, baby. The German actress makes her U.S. debut in Polar as a honeypot assassin assassin. And no, I didn't stutter. Fee rolls with the motley crew assigned to take out legendary hitman the Black Kaiser before he can retire at age 50. The road that you have chosen doesn't have a rainbow. No. No rainbows. Mads Mikkelsen from Rogue One, Doctor Strange, and Hannibal plays the unkillable killer, a role that could win him the title of our favorite middle-aged guy we love to see kick ass. Don't ever try that guy again. Oh, he's just salty that he has an eye injury for the fourth time in a movie after Three Musketeers, Valhalla Rising, and as Bond bad guy Le Chiffre in Casino Royale. In Polar, he's patching the eye for director Jonas Ackerlund, a goth god of directing music videos, back when there were music videos. This is his fourth film to be released wide, but he already has a follow-up ready for Valentine's Day. We are the Lords of Chaos. You guys suck. Mom, tell her to get out. Death metal drama, Lords of Chaos, was a hit at Sundance 2018 and it's finally getting a limited theatrical release on February 8th, with an on-demand release following fast on the 22nd. I'm obviously not getting through to you, am I? No, you are. Polar is on Netflix now, and for more of what's trending on IMDb, stay tuned to imdb.com slash imdbrief.